Buckingham Palace has just announced its plans for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And now royal watchers are keenly awaiting an update on whether Prince Archie and his brand new baby sister could make their debut on the Buckingham Palace balcony. Royal editor at the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers, joins us now from London. Good to see you, Russell. The celebration's quite a spectacle, going to be quite a bash. When's it all happening? What's on the cards? Well, good morning. Uh, well, it's going to happen next year, nearly a, a, exactly a year away. The dates for your diaries are June the 2nd to June the 5th. And uh, unfortunately, we don't know what we're doing next week here in the UK oh. at the moment due to all the COVID restrictions. But there's some really, really big plans in store. There's going to be street parties, a rock concert planned for outside Buckingham Palace, a pageant full of 5,000 people through the streets of London, a church service, and it's all to do with Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee, se celebrating 70 years on the throne. It's going to be the first ever monarch to do it, and it's going to be quite, quite a big deal. Mm. Uh, let's hope it all happens, it all goes to plan. And what do you think? Will the California branch of the party, the, of the family, sorry, be invited to the party? Well, your guess is as good as mine, Layla, to be honest. <laughs> Nobody knows what they're up to from one minute to the next. But um, I think this is very much a family affair. And they're, listen, they're not working members of the family, but the Queen has said before they're very much loved, loved members of the family. So we would expect them all to come over, and certainly to be Harry, Meghan, Archie and the new baby girl on the way imminently. So uh, it, hopefully we'll get a balcony scene. You know, we're... We've been, uh, we've been missing them the last couple of years. It's, it's all been very, very much scaled down for the Queen's official birthdays. But fingers crossed we get out of this, uh, this mess and everyone can, uh, can look forward to an extravaganza. Yeah. Back to California. Uh, Rumour has it baby number two is just days away. W you've got spies everywhere, we know. W when should we expect an announcement from Harry and Meghan Russell? Well, when do you go off air? Next, you know, next hour, maybe that would uh, suit as well. But um, I don't know. It's on, supposed yeah. to be it. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the next few days. I know that Meghan had, um, had said that she was due early summer and so we're, we're right into the business of it now. Yeah. But, um, listen, baby watchers are all uh, on the lookout and, uh, you know, hopefully it will be in the next few days and we'll get an announcement. Very good. Yeah, the name Archie sort of came out of the blue, didn't it, for their first child? Any clue what they might name their little girl? I've got 50 bucks on Diana. What? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe keep your money where it's uh, in your pocket, Dickie, to be fair. But um, sometimes the bookies are, are never wrong, are they? However, Diana is top of the bill. I think that's four to one with the bookies. Uh, Elizabeth is all, also uh, a, fa a fair shot. But Allegra is apparently what Diana was going to call one of her daughters if she had one. Wow. So the bookies are saying that's one of the top billings at 12 to one. But... Um, Listen, your guess is as good as mine. Archie was a bit left field, so maybe we'll get a bit of a left field name this time. Appreci we appreciate your insight as always, Russell. Stay safe. Thank you very much, sir. All the best. Thanks, Russell.